We're coming out of hyperspace. Everyone up front. There's the fleet. I hope you're right about this. Ah, look on the bright side. They open fire and we'll be breaking the galactic record for going from zero to space dust. Metal stations? Warm up the turrets. Keep the targeting computers on standby. Charging to full. Liz, shields. Leah Starling and Bulldog. We get work done on the shields recently? No, I'm pretty sure we haven't. Any little devil, ain't he? Hail the flagship. You know this is probably a trap. Even if they don't shoot us down, handing us over to the Republic would probably help deflect the flak they've been getting. I'm aware of the predicament, Mako. Just let me be worried. Somebody's gotta be. Hailing, they're transmitting a flight path. We're to dock in Hangar 8. They aren't shooting at us. So far, so good. Well, we're committed now. My presence was requested. I've been ordered to bring you before my lord, Darth Tormund. Submit to search and seizure and come quietly. I don't really care for that plan. You are under jurisdiction of this Imperial vessel, and I will not permit you to remain armed in the presence of a Lord of the Sith. You will comply, willingly or by force. Anyone still around by the time the Lieutenant here hits the ground joins him. Seize this scum! Cowards! You'll all be court-martialed! What are you waiting for? Won't get away with this. Quite a pile we stacked up. So, do we make a run for it? I came here to speak with a Sith. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't have a better suggestion. Let's do it. Torian, secure the hangar and be ready for further instructions. Understood. Koyashi. I see you've disposed of your escort. Can't say I appreciate Sith hospitality. Start. Destroy what is mine again, and I shall return the favor. <laughs> Let's play nice with this one, please. Today, Corellia's leadership swore allegiance to the Sith Empire. Despite total occupation, the people openly rebel. What should have been a bloodless victory has escalated into full-scale war. The Treaty of Coruscant is no more. I want the Supreme Chancellor's head in my hand when I deliver victory to the Dark Council. You will provide it. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Refusal would be unwise. If wealth and acclaim are not enough incentive, perhaps revenge will motivate you. You have made an enemy in the Supreme Chancellor's closest advisor. Do what I ask and you will have your opportunity for vengeance. The sooner I get to break that Jedi's face, the better. So long as our enemies remain on Coruscant, they are beyond even your reach. But Jun Seras will not be difficult to draw out. Getting to him will put you within striking distance of the Supreme Chancellor. Corellia is where we will put them down. There are obstacles that must be removed before we can act. You will remove them. I'm afraid I don't deal with obstacles. Some old enemies from the last war have re-emerged. A Republic privateer made famous assisting Hilo V break the Mandalorian's blockade and a Kuwati noblewoman credited with orchestrating numerous successful uprisings on Imperial-occupied worlds. You want them back, or gone? They could prove useful, but leave nothing to chance if there's any risk of their escape. This star chart shows the last destination of your first target. 
Make it his final. My subordinates will brief you upon arrival. Torian, you can stand down. I'll brief you when I get back. I'll stand down when I see you, if it's the same to you. Lieutenant Hall, Imperial Intelligence. I have orders to act as your liaison. I have prepared a briefing, should you require it. I'll take all the help I can get. Then allow me to introduce you to your target. This is Zael Barrows. After helping break the Mandalorian blockade during the war, the Republic offered him considerable latitude to plague the Empire. Then, after the Treaty of Coruscant, the Republic retained him as their unofficial ferryman to Belsavis. You have a location for Barrow's ship? We observed his freighter land on Belsavis before our forces invaded. No vessels larger than a shuttle have been spotted leaving the surface. Belsavis is a remote ice ball with minimal natural resources, the perfect place to keep things you'd rather forget. Which is why the Republic has constructed a substantial prison fortress here to hide away their undesirables. If it's just a prison, why all the Imperial interest? We think there may be more to this prison, but our primary objective is to extract persons of interest. That includes a large number of Imperial prisoners of war the Republic did not wish to release after the Treaty of Coruscant. Our landers can insert you into the Republic fortifications relatively near the last known location of Barrows's vessel. Get me on the ground, Lieutenant. It will be absolute pandemonium, planet side. This is my direct hollow frequency. I am on call, should you need me. Secret prison fortress? Absolute pandemonium? How bad could it be? What is it, Torian? I just landed. Been talking to Horn. He's eager to make a good impression. Got him to give up intel taken from the Republic's operation. Made some connections. A lot of convicts have unclean bounties, put together a list. Could be a decent bonus, but Zale takes priority. Makes the small time, leaves a hit list from the exchange. Some gang pulled a major heist. Bounties for the lot. Last thing, save a carbonite. Nobody's wanted alive. Sounds like lover boys coming back. Ain't you gonna welcome him home? Hey, Zale! I like your plaything! Maybe I'll keep her a while! You ain't Zale! Yikes! Tell me where he's hiding, or I'm gonna crush Gurley here like a bug! I'd like to know the same thing. Who's the woman? Sale's little girlfriend. Wanna kill her. But she's the only one left who can rat him out! You can just shoot me. I'm not telling you anything. Cooperate, and I'll get you out of this alive. I'm not stupid. I'm dead. Sale, why did you have to play the hero? I wanted to leave when the first siren sounded. Zale insisted we stay to help evacuate if things got too bad. Too bad. Understatement of the year. Looks like that didn't go to plan. The central power plant failed, and the hangar doors are closed. Even our ship can't put out enough juice to open them. <sighs> We're trapped. Zale stormed off after some argument with a warden, said he had unfinished business. He took M-30B to get the central power plant back online, said not to wait for him, that's all I know. I can work with that. Find yourself a better hiding spot. I... I can go? You ain't going nowhere, girly. Your boy's gonna hear all about how you died. Before I kill him. I said she can leave. And I said she ain't walking out of here. You wouldn't stand a chance against me. Lucky I ain't got time to peel you out of that can. Run, girly. But when I find you... I'm gonna see how much you can scream before your lungs go. 
She was lucky we showed up and we did. I don't want to know what that creep had in store for her. Cut it a little close there, Em. <laughs> nice trap, you. <laughs> I kinda hope the first time I met you would it be captaining your one-way trip to lockup. Things rarely go the way we want them to. That's deep. But you moonlight as a Jedi Master when you're not blowing up orphanages? Friend of yours? I hate to disappoint, but even your thick skull won't break through this force field. What are you standing around for? Let's blast this place to pieces! How about I start with you, loudmouth? Yeah? Give me your best shot. You wanna gut this twerp? Go blast the stupid generators! Soon as this field drops, <laughs> me and Zale are gonna get reacquainted. It's lights out, Zale. Dirty run! You let him get away, didn't you? It ain't my fault! The rats scurried down this little hole while you were taking a sweet time wrecking the place! Tin Can wouldn't give up where he was going. Guess I broke it. You can't beat answers out of a droid, moron. Moron's what I call runty bounty hunters dumb enough to pick fights! I got an idea how to keep this heap talking. There's lots more junk like this thing, walking around, keeping the runts in line. They get built at a plant deeper in. Bet there's parts to hotwire this trash and shock some answers out of it. If this is a dead end, you're taking a one-way trip. I ain't taking the trip yet. Place is inside Max Locker. Ain't getting in there without some major boom-booms. I only got this dinky piece. You blast the place up. I'll haul this junk over and grab us a couple of tech heads on the way. Deal? I'm always up for a fight. Come on! Got you right where we want you now! Thought I smelled something burning. Found us a couple volunteers. Oh, Be serious. You want us to try and fix this? There's hardly anything here worth salvaging. I only need to get inside its head. Find me something telling me where this man is going. I, I, I think we can handle that. Dean, grab a diagnostic pad and a hollow emitter. This might take a little while. want those prisoners, they'll have to crack them out of the tomb. It's out of our hands now. You can evacuate, Warden, but I spent too many years putting those fiends away to let it all be for nothing. Come on, Em. We're heading to the tomb. What's this tomb they're talking about? I missed my shot at that twerp! If the Empire has a plan for getting in the tomb, I know someone who can clue us in. <laughs> my 
My target's last known destination is something the locals are calling the tomb. What can you tell me? Unfortunately, everything we know about the tomb comes from the Republic's limited records. It appears that most of the interaction the Republic had was with the tomb's custodial droids, and only samples were normally allowed to enter. Would presenting myself to the custodians be an option? The droids retreated inside the tomb when Operations Group 1 and 2 forced their way through. All contact has been lost. Commander Grang is in charge of gaining re-entry to the tomb. He'll be able to give you the current situation. However you'll get through, if you can reach these coordinates, contact me. I'll bring you up to speed on any discoveries. I'm coming along. I ain't been waiting this long for someone else to have the pleasure of killing Zale. You get me that twerp, I show you where the law hides all the contraband on this rock. Deal? I'll do it, against my better judgment. A friend takes a hike too, in case you're thinking you can pull something. What? No way. Do as he says, Mako. I'll be in touch if I need you. Just be careful. Horn, I'm in position. What have you got for me? Analysis of data from the custodians is coming slowly, but I believe we found a solid lead. The bulk of the samples taken recently appear to have been interred in a vault we are designating Block 44. The majority of the Imperial prisoners have likely been taken there, making it the probable destination for your target. I don't like working with most likely, Lieutenant. My apologies. Deciphering the data is proving difficult. It's the best we have to work with. It's your call. These are Block 44's coordinates if you decide to pursue it as a lead. If Barrows is sighted elsewhere, you'll be the first to know. Horn out. You know, twerp. How did you... You are good. Nobody shoot. Truce. Look, we can settle our differences, but not right here. I have to stop the Empire. I'm not buying whatever it is you're selling. We've got you outgunned. If you want to fight, I can give it to you. You help us foil their rescue. Permanently. And I'll go quietly. Don't go quietly when you're dead. I thought you might say something like that. Fan out! You're mine now! Run! So close. So close! I would know who you are, and how it is you came to our rescue. 
Darth Tormund hired me to deal with Captain Sail Barrows. Him. Your master has my thanks. You will hear of your contribution to our cause. I am Lord Andreos Thos. We are what remains of Operations Group 1. Have our forces been able to free the Dread Masters? The rescue operation is still in progress. At least you've given me a second chance. We're standing on potential reinforcements numbering in the thousands. I must see to their release. Carry on with your business, but stay out of my way. Been thinking about this since you dumped me on this rock, Sealy boy? Got it all worked out how you're gonna go. Aren't you gonna do something? You came here for me. What about your bounty? You crawl into a tomb, Barrows. You risk getting buried. This is gonna be a real treat. No. Please, no. No! <laughs> I noted your return. I figured it was safe to assume you were successful, given your reputation. I prepared a report of your success for Darth Tormund. I have your compensation right here. I think I'd do a little something extra. I'm afraid Darth Tormund has absolute authority on the matter. However, I could probably procure something with a little time. Is there anything in particular? I'd like to know a little more about my employer. That's a dangerous request. Unofficially, I can tell you that any concerns you may have are largely unfounded. Darth Tormund has little tolerance for duplicity. If he bore you any ill will, he'd simply crush you like a bug and move on. Deal honestly with him, and you'll live longer. Don't fault me if I keep my cards close to my vest. I can't fault someone for being smart. I must return to my duties. Again, a pleasure. Everybody front and center. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what's that creep doing here? What's the matter, Kelly? Scared? Torian's usually punctual. Oh, let the kid have a day off. Better yet, wrap this up so I can get back to mine. He told me he got a message from an old associate. They were going to meet at the cantina. Out here? He tell you anything about this old associate? Not really. You know Torian. You think this wasn't a friendly meeting? He won't answer or can't answer. I don't like either. Should we head to the cantina? You're starting to bore me. Who do you think you are? I'm scared. Don't forget it. Whatever, creep. Can we get back to Torian now? Guess teamwork's too much to ask on day one. You've been a busy boy. Too busy. You should spend more time with your loved ones before they're gone. I'm extending you an invitation. An opportunity to appreciate what you have before you lose it. But if the boy's less close to you than we thought, 
really doesn't matter. There'll be plenty of other opportunities for us to meet. If you want a chance to say goodbye, come to Hoth. We won't wait long. Torian, we've got to save him. He's not the one they're after. Well, maybe not, but who knows what they'll do to get your attention. Hate to say it, but she's got a point. So what are we gonna do? Set a course for Hoth. Right, let's do this. I was starting to think we'd have to finish without you. Don't hold up on my account. Uh, uh, uh. Keep walking. Ambush, run! You aren't saying anything your friend doesn't already know. You know, Grand Champion, you've got talent. The Overseers would have scouted you eventually. We could have helped you make a real mark on the galaxy. Now you'll have to settle for your gaudy title and the price on your head. Let him go before you do something you can't take back. You should really take your own advice. Bounty hunting isn't a game, whatever the Mandalorians think. It's serious business, with serious consequences. Consequences you're about to become intimately familiar Sorry with. Sorry we're late. Well, this is embarrassing. I owe you. Again. My turn to be bait, I guess. You able to move out? Definitely. Hey, one of these creeps is still alive and kicking. How? Oh, this should have been total overkill. Despite what you think, the Great Hunt's no joke. There's a reason Mandalore made me his champion. If this couldn't kill you, I don't know what would. I want out. I don't care how good the money is. It's not worth it. You're begging the wrong person. Your call. Torian, he's not worth it. Dues paid. Finished? You know, I was actually starting to miss you. Mako, get back and pull together some data for our next target. Got it. Be careful, you two. Glad to see you both made it back okay. Welcome back, kid. Siki Pinsi le cota capota, kinalona pizza? Thanks. Be back on the hunt? We'll head out after a little R&R. &R. I think it's deserved. Seconded. One of Tormund's lackeys forwarded a star chart to a system called Voss. The place isn't even on most maps yet. There's a lot of scuttlebutt about Voss's discovery on the Holonet, but it's pretty far-fetched stuff even for spacer superstition. The Astrogation computer's updated and ready to go when you are.